My name is Luke Jerram and I'm the artist behind the Glass Microbiology series of artworks that you see here in the gallery. This is a body of work that I've created over a period of 10 years and um, because I'm colourblind I've actually got an interest in visual perception and how we see. So images of viruses uh, often presented in newspapers are these brightly coloured objects um, and images and it turns out that actually viruses don't have any colour at all. They're actually smaller than the wavelength of light itself. So about 10 years ago I started making this whole series of work um, of transparent three-dimensional glass virus sculptures. So sculptures that don't have any colour. And, and what's happened is that the, by taking away the colour from these objects and making them in glass, they, they, we've created these incredibly beautiful objects and actually that's created a problem. So now there's this sort of strange tension in the artworks between the beauty of the objects and then what they represent. So as an artist, I'm interested in um, things that affect humanity and things that people care about. And people care about um, disease and, 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 and vir viruses, I suppose. In every, every time you open a newspaper, there seems to be news about some pandemic or other. So I've created these objects as, as sort of sculptures for people to contemplate the impact of those um, pathogens in the world. Um, and yeah, uh, but by creating them in glass, you end up creating these very sort of beautiful objects. And then that creates a tension between the beauty of the object and then what it represents. But here in the gallery, we've got a whole range of different um, viruses from um, swine flu here in front of me. We've got papillomavirus, HIV, uh, there's malaria over there. Now, malaria isn't actually a virus. Um, so it's actually a, a plasmodium, it's a parasite. Um, but of course, you know, humanity, that's something, uh, malaria is a massive problem to humanity at the moment, which scientists are throwing all their energy and time at to try and find a global cure for. So the, the glass virus sculptures that we've got here in front of us are about a million times larger than the real thing. So viruses are incredibly small. You can only just sort of see them underneath an electron microscope as sort of grainy images. So by working with virologists and electron microscope images and uh, chemical models of viruses, I've been able to kind of create these accurate renditions of, of viruses, uh, which we've got here on display in the gallery. As an artist, I'm interested in perception and in the invisible world around us. Um, and partially I think because I'm colourblind, so my paintings are really awful for a start. But that colourblindness has given me an interest in visual perception and in this sort of invisible world around us. So I'm interested in exploring the edges of our senses, whether it's the understanding of the edge of the universe or whether it's this sort of microscopic world um, that's sort of beyond our senses. And it's at that point that art and science often converge in this space of the unknown. So I'm interested in exploring that territory um, and creating objects with, that are obviously beautiful but have a certain potency and power about them. The way in which these artworks have been made is through a, a process called lamp work. So I've got a whole team of glass blowers that create this and it takes about 30 years to learn the skills to, to create something like this. And lamp work is where you're starting off with cold glass and you're heating it up and bending it and shaping it. So it's the same techniques you use to make a distillery or a test tube in this scientific lab equipment, uh, which is very different to hot glass, which, which is where it's, that's done on the end of a punty. But uh, work like this sort of showcases the, the skills and the ability of the, uh, of the glass team that I'm working with. Eleanor contacted me, uh, I think over the internet, and. Um, uh, propose that we have this exhibition and I'm really proud that we've got the work here and I think it looks really good and I'm, I'm hoping the, the, the exhibition's a great success.